uh, Zirak says, are there any authentic hadith about being haram to stand for the national anthem? If not, why and how is it haram? First of all, you should not expect a hadith, a specific particular hadith or a verse of the Quran to come and address every single issue. This is not logical. Islam is a holistic religion. Allah Azza wa Jal orders us in the Quran. The Prophet والسلام, explains to us through the Sunnah about things. And the scholars come and they did they conclude and they get the rules and the legal maxims and everything that governs our lives through the spectrum of Quran and the Sunnah. So now, the national anthem, standing for the flag. Let us look what Islam says about it. They didn't have anything as such at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. So let's look at the national anthem. It's an anthem. What is it made of? Musical instruments. Brass, strings, drums. What is the ruling of on that in Islam? The consensus of all scholars of Muslims, of the four schools of thought, their consensus is it is totally prohibited. Then you get your answer. The Prophet told us ﷺ, in an authentic hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari that there will come a time where groups of my ummah make haram things permissible. They would make prohibited things permissible. Among them is fornication, wearing of silk, and listening to musical instruments. So this answers your question. It is prohibited to listen to music, even in national anthems. What is the ruling of standing to the flag? The flag is a piece of cloth. So it's like any other, yes, but there is presentation. It represents our country and we have to respect it. Who said we have to respect it? It's a piece of cloth. We respect our country, not the piece of cloth. First of all, second of all, the Prophet ﷺ once prayed sitting down, leading the prayer, and all the companions were standing up. So he ordered them to sit down. And after he concluded the prayer, he said, you almost imitated the Jews and the Christians who stand up for their rulers and leaders. This is haram. If the imam prays sitting down, you have to pray all of you sitting down, although you're healthy and fit to stand. This means that standing up is a form of glorification, of praising. And this is usually done only to Allah Azza wa And this is why we stand in prayer to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Therefore, standing up for the national anthem or for the flag, saluting the flag, all of this is not part of our religion. Where did it come from? It came from the kuffar, from the disbelievers. A moment of silence they have. The, so many things that be, of, have been adopted by so-called Muslims nowadays, which does not, which all of this do not relate to Islam. So is it permissible? The answer is no. Nope. You cannot do this. It is not part of our religion. And as Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, and his father said that the Prophet said, وَمَنْ تَشَبَّهَ بِقَوْمٍ فَهُوَ مِنْهُمْ Whoever imitates people, then he's part of them. One says, okay, why are you wearing a watch in your wrist? Akhi, I'm not imitating them when I wear a watch or use a pen or use my PDA to answer questions or I drive my car. These are not their customs. These are not part of their religion. This is technology. This is uh, uh, science. This is something that people buy and sell. 
But when it comes to traditions, when it comes to religions, when it comes to their customs, this is where the prohibition uh, uh, lies and we are not allowed to follow that and Allah knows best.